There are two predominant species of tree ferns in these forests. The rough tree fern, Cyathea, and the soft tree fern, Dixonia. Cyathea is a, is a group that has a sort of global distribution, whereas the Dixonia is a, a much more sort of southern invention. They're very important plant species in these forests because they provide nesting sets, sites for birds, they provide a substrate for many, many other uh, plants that are epiphytes. They're very important sites for some species of plants to germinate and then grow out the top of these tree ferns, so that means that they have a height advantage right from the start. We've done substantial studies of the tree ferns in these systems. David Blair did a wonderful study looking at the growth rates and discovered that once the canopy is removed from the overstory trees, the understory tree ferns then grow far faster than you might imagine. Tree ferns are also very sensitive to disturbance in the system. They can deal with being burnt. They recover very quickly after fire, as we discovered after the 2009 Black Saturday fires. They can deal with some mechanical disturbance from logging machinery, but the combination of both is devastating. And across our long-term survey sites, we've seen about a 96% reduction in the abundance of tree ferns on log sites. In fact, you can almost pick exactly where the clear felling operations have taken place by the reduction in the number of tree ferns in this system. So these are really important plants. They're disturbance sensitive when human disturbance is mixed with natural disturbance, fire and logging or clear felling. And they're also really important for many key roles which we have to maintain as a nesting site, as a germination site and as a substrate for important plants such as epiphytes.